is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have a brand new wwe action figure review and it is on the brand new wwe ultimate edition rock action figure this of course does come with our charlotte you know they're a part of the same set you guys know a few weeks ago we did do the charlotte review and today we are covering the rock and i'm not gonna bullshit with you guys all right i want to be straight up honest with you right now i already did this full review i unpacked the figure i dove into everything i completed the john brown thing. I thought it was a fantastic review. We had some good hilarity go on in that video. We had some great moments in that video that happened naturally. It was a beautifully filmed video. I plug in the SD card to the computer and you know what happens, Brad? The damn thing was corrupted and I lost 28 minutes of footage of the John Brown review. So you know what I did, Brad? I tried to recover it. I tried to do everything I could and I failed and I failed and I failed and I couldn't recover the file. So you know what I did? I took everything and I I put it back inside the box and I am reshooting this video and I'm going to try my damnedest to bring you the exact same energy that I brought that review and I'm going to give you everything I got Brad. So you stick with me to the end of this video and I'd really really appreciate it. We're going to try and get through it. I, I mean I had some skits in there. I mean it was great man. It was really great and I, I feel shitty that you guys don't get to see it in its in its true first form but we're going to we're going to F that man. We're going to dive into this thing and make it 10 times better. You guys see the front viewing window. I'm hyped for this rock. I've been waiting on this rock figure for a while. I think it is Amazon exclusive. I don't think you can get it on ringside collectibles. If you can, use promo code MDTOYS to do so. But up here you have the rock. Uh, yeah, you see the rock there. Front viewing window, Ultimate Edition logo here. Beautiful picture of the Brahma Bull here. You got a picture of the figure. You got another image of the rock. You got some bio read. If you want to read this or that, you can pause it now. Other side, it says the rock. At the top, it also says the rock again and the Ultimate Edition. So it says rock. Rock, rock in the background, rock up here, rock on the side. I mean, it's just rocks everywhere. But now that we've covered the rock, guys, let's crack him out of the packaging so he can go crazy on our candy asses. God in heaven, I can't believe I lost that footage. Yeah. But anyways, guys, here is the rock out of the packaging. You guys can see what we're getting right here. Again, I was excited for this figure very much, so I am excited to get into the review with you guys. Just a just a great-looking rock figure. You know, if you're an Attitude Era collector or a flashback collector, you're really going to get a kick out of this figure, I do believe, guys. But how we're going to do it is we're going to conduct it just like our other reviews. It's kind of weird because usually we do, like, two Ultimates in one, but just today we have the rock just because we did, you know, Charlotte so long ago, like a few weeks ago. So we only have the rock here today, but I think it's going to be damn good, Brad. So what we're going to do is get into the Rock's accessories, then we're going to cover the Rock himself, and then we'll get into some Rock figure comparisons, guys. So with that being said, let's dive into the Brahma Bulls accessories. So getting into the Rock's accessories, guys, you can see here that we do get a quite plentiful amount of accessories. You know, this is the Ultimate Editions. Usually with Ultimate Editions, they pack in the accessories. You know, there is an upcharge. You get the double-jointed arms as well as the, the interesting choice of torso, and then, of course, they have to throw in all the goods. You get a bunch of interchangeable head sculpts, the hands, some changeable accessories here and let's shut the hell up and dive in guys let's start off first with the t-shirt here and this t-shirt looks great i like the brahma bull logo i love how clean it looks i like the color palette that they use and you guys already saw what it looked like on the figure out of the packaging and it's just a really nice t-shirt i can always appreciate a good cloth t-shirt especially with the ultimate additions you know it seems like they put more care and more focus into those cloth accessories so this is beautiful to see it fits the figure well and you can't argue with that i think that is nice next up is the wwf championship now, I can always appreciate this as well. I'm hoping that when we get a Stone Cold Steve Austin Ultimate Edition, if we ever get one, I hope we do, though, especially since we're going to get more Ultimate Editions this coming year. I hope that they include this with that as well. This is one of my favorite championships of all time. I have an adult replica of this title, and it just it's so beautiful, man. I mean, this is this is nostalgia for me. This is the title that this is the main championship when I was growing up, when I was a young lad. So that is a beautiful championship. Can always appreciate the WWF Championship. Next up, guys, we do have his microphone. Now, to be honest with you, uh, this is supposed to be a scratch WWF logo, but of course they can't do that anymore. But uh, also, one thing I want to notice is, that, or one thing I want to point out is that Jax used to have the accurate microphones. Like back then, the microphones were like skinnier and like the box was a little bit shorter here. It wasn't as long, but you know, it's not it's not the biggest deal ever. It's just something I wanted to mention there. But you also get sunglasses. Now, one thing we have to point out is that uh, the I think these are the exact same sunglasses that came with the Elite 69 Collector's Edition Rock. I 
could be wrong about that, but if you guys want to see what these look like on the head sculpts here, I don't think they fit it like perfectly, but they will go on there pretty good. Like, I, I think that uh, the glasses seem a little bit wide maybe, and they'll fall off at times, but they still fit the figure pretty good. I like the way it looks on the head sculpts. This is the people's eyebrow head sculpt, and it fits on there pretty nicely right there. So you love to see that. I think that looks iconic as F for the rock right there, and that is nice. So, oh, yeah, dude, that is that is super fire. But there are the sunglasses. You get the golden black sunglasses. This is the first of the mini head sculpts. I went ahead and took off all the head sculpts and the hands so that we could just take a look at all of them right now. And the people's eyebrow head sculpt looks really good. I think my eye may be a little bit too wide, but it's not a big deal. I still think it looks really good. The likeness is totally there. I love the sideburns. I like the hair color. It looks damn good, man. The people's eyebrow right here is looking really good on this rock head sculpt. Next up, guys, we do have the serious head sculpt. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the basic 100 head sculpt. At least it looks just like it. And the likeness is totally there. Like, oh my god in heaven, what a great looking head sculpt. I even thought about possibly dribbling off and doing the bald technique like we saw with Finn Balor that we've done, like we've done with Braun Strowman. Do that same exact thing to this head sculpt and possibly make an updated rock head sculpt, possibly. I don't know, but uh, it, it looks damn good. The likeness is totally there. I, I love that a lot. And then, of course, the last head sculpt, which I think is probably the best one in, in honest opinion. I love the teeth sculpt. I like the paint apps. The closed eyes look beautiful. This is a beautiful head sculpt. One thing I wish that they had was a closed eyes head sculpt, but a straight face. You guys know when he gets up on the turnbuckle during his entrance and he closes his eyes and looks up to the sky and you can hear the bass drop in his music and it's just so sick. It's so dark. He felt the freaking hair on the back of your neck stand up on that one, Brad. So I really wish we had that, but you know, this still works great. This, of course, is his iconic If you smell what the rock is cooking head sculpt. So, I mean, this this looks great. I, I love this. Again, the, the I think the flesh tone, the sculpt, the, the eyes squinting, the yelling, this is great. And another little fig hack, if you guys want to know a little fig hack that I discovered with this, if you guys want to make it look like his eyes are open, you could just put the sunglasses on there, and then it looks like he's just cussing out some jabroni backstage, and he has his sunglasses on. So that, that works too. So if you don't want his eyes closed, put the glasses on there, and it looks like he's yelling at some fool. So I like that a lot. I think all three head sculpts look really good. As far as interchangeable hands, he comes with the standard fisted hands in the rock skin tone. We also have beautiful mic holding hands. He comes with these out of the packaging in the rock skin tone. And next up, we have brand new hands. You have the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard hands, but they paired it with the Just Bring It hands. So you guys know he used to do this right here. I mean, he still does this, but this is uh, this is super iconic for the rock. So you have the, the hand out, and then you have the come hither sort of motion right here. And, uh, you know, he tells people to just bring it. Uh, it reminds me of the cover of WWF, Just Bring It. I remember getting that game for Christmas one year. That game's underrated, man. Nobody talks about that game when you talk about the best games. I think it's because they kind of built on it. You know, they started with Just Bring It, then they went to Shut Your Mouth, and they went to Here Comes the Pain. And, I mean, Just Bring It was fantastic in its own, man. That first wrestling game right there on PS2. Oh, man, what a damn good game. Got that for Christmas, I think, in 2001, if I'm not mistaken. It may have been 2000, but Jesus, man, one of the best. Let me know if you guys played that game down below and what you thought of it. But anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for The Rock's accessories, so let's dive into The Rock figure himself. So getting into the rock figure himself, guys, we have just the straight head sculpt coming out of the packaging. This isn't what comes on the pack. It's actually the people's eyebrow head sculpt that comes out of the packaging, but I just put his mic holding hands in there. We've already taken a closer look at the head sculpt, but it looks damn good on the figure. I think it fits the figure well. It doesn't have like a short stubby neck or anything. You also have this rock torso, which we've seen, or which I don't think we've seen actually with any ultimate additions, but uh, it's, it's a unique sculpt here. You guys know that the ab crunch on these ultimate additions is not very good. That's how much you get back. That's how much you get forward. Side to side is pretty decent. It kind of feels like my upper diaphragm right here is a little bit loose, but it's not too big of a deal there. Uh, of course, you do have your double jointed elbows, which uh, are kind of hindered right now because of the elbow pads, but they're still really, really nice. I like the way the shoulders look. This is probably my favorite part of the Rock figure that I was so excited about with this Ultimate Edition, and it's because it is in the red and silver and black attire. You guys can see on the back, you got the Brahma Bull. Looks super duper clean. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I think this is the Survivor's series either 2000 or 2001 attire I can't remember off the top of my head but it is it is clean I want to buy multiples of this so we can get the light blue color in there you can get the green in there you can get all the different attires that the rock wore in this era and I'll probably end up switching this torso with an elite rock figure to uh, give it more articulation to make it look a little bit better but I mean I guess if it's going to chill on the shelf not the biggest deal but anyways you got the rock legs standard rock knee pads standard rock 
boost that you guys know he was synonymous for. And then down here, you do get your toe pivot and everything like that. So, I mean, overall, man, not a bad figure whatsoever. I'm really hyped for it. I like it a lot. I think if you're an Attitude Era collector, you'll really enjoy this figure. But now that we've covered the Rock figure itself, guys, let's dive into some Rock figure comparisons. So for your Rock figure comparisons, guys, you have the brand new Ultimate Edition in the middle. You got the Attitude Era figure. You have like an Elite 22 fix up, I think, with like a custom shirt and pants. You have the Elite 69 Collector's Edition Walmart exclusive, and then you have the Elite 22 on the far left. And you guys can just see the difference in the Rock figures. I mean, it's just great, man. I, I love collecting Rock's figures. I know that there's so many different unique looks and trunks and stuff like that. Mainly just different colors, but I love to see the comparisons here. I think if you took some of these Ultimate Edition head sculpts and put them on different Rock figures, you could really make for some epic ass fix-ups and customs, especially with like some of these, putting them on the Attitude Era figure, maybe the People's Eyebrow head sculpt, putting that on there, or the Yelling head sculpt, putting it on there with the glasses. I mean, there's so many different ways you could do it. Maybe customizing one of these, like I said, and putting it on one of the other rocks, because the likeness and the, the details are better on these compared to some of these other older cartoony rock head sculpts. So, that's just what I'm thinking off the top of my head, but let me know what you guys think of it down in the comment section below. But that does it for your rock figure comparisons. And then for your Series Ultimate Edition comparison, here is the uh, Series 6 Ultimate Edition rock up next to your Series 6 Charlotte figure. And uh, one thing I wanted to point out, guys, is the next series is going to be the Fiend and Hollywood Hulk Hogan. So that is an absolute massive deal. And I think next week is Ringside Fest. So we're going to have brand new WWE figure reveals. And I guarantee we're going to see Hulk Hogan and the Fiend on display. And I cannot effing wait for that, man. I think we're going to lose our shitzels in that one because we're it's going to be sick, man. I cannot wait to see exactly what those figures look like, but I think they're going to be absolutely epic. But if you guys wanted to see what our Series 6 figures look like up next to each other, you have the Charlotte and the Rock figures. But uh, yeah, that does it for your Rock figure comparisons. Hey, Rock, I just wanted to say that... Whoa, 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 whoa. What did you just say to the Rock? Well, I just said that... It doesn't matter what the hell you just said. Oh my God, Brad, where the hell did that table come from? Rock bottom! Rock bottom through the table to Charlotte! Rock bottom! Rock! Rock is cooking. But anyways, guys, I think that is about gonna do it for this Ultimate Edition Rock review. Again, I hate that I had to review it twice, but I think that everything turned out all right. You know, I did want to see what this custom Brahma Bull Championship looks like on the Rock, and holy God in heaven, that looks fire, Brad. Look at that right there. Oh my God. I'm surprised Mattel hasn't made a Brahma Bull WWF Championship. They really need to do that, to be honest with you. This would have been a perfect figure to include it with, to be, to be real. But anyways, guys, I think if you wanted to grab this figure, you can only do so on Amazon. I think this is an Amazon exclusive. I don't think Ringside Collectibles has it. If they do, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% over there when grabbing this figure. And another thing I wanted to mention is that I think you're going to like this figure a lot, especially if you're a flashback collector, you grew up in the Attitude Era, Ruthless Aggression Era, you're going to enjoy this figure. I know this is an Attitude Era based figure, but I think you will appreciate it, especially if you grew up around that time. If you're a Rock fan, man, this is the figure for you. This figure is fantastic. I think you will enjoy it. Great accessories, great expressions, WWF Championship, Rock t-shirt. I mean, you can't go wrong with it, man. But anyways, guys, I think that is going to do it for the review. I do want to give a huge shout out to the 2K Enforcer for this comment on our last video. Notifications for MDT are like holidays for me, and that means a lot to me, man. That's awesome. I think everybody should enjoy a good holiday, so I think you should all turn on your bell notifications so that you can experience a holiday every time I upload. But seriously, though, I appreciate this comment from the 2K Enforcer. I think majority of people that watch this channel, a lot of them don't even have bell notifications on, guys, so definitely turn on the bell so that you will be notified every single time we post, and it will increase your chances of actually getting a shout-out because your comment is going to be first, and then it probably has more likes, and then that will inc increase your chances of me actually seeing the comment. But anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.